Um, some of the diseases and abnormal conditions of the um, urinary system or the excretory system. First one is cystitis. Now look at the itis um, suffix. We've got itis on that one and glomerulonephritis or nephritis, pyelonephritis, down near the bottom, a, um, urethritis. Remember, itis means an inflammation or infection of, and cystitis is an inflammation of the bladder. C-Y-S-T-O is the prefix or the root word that means bladder. Um, so this is an inflammation of the bladder, and it's usually caused by um, pathogens or germs that enter the urinary meatus, which is that external opening of the urethra to the outside. And it's more common in females because we have a shorter urethra, um, so the pathogens are able to get um, in there and to the bladder uh, more easily um, because it's only about an inch and a half long. You're going to have symptoms like frequent urination, dysuria, which is um, painful urination. You might have a burning sensation during urination. You might have hematuria, which is um, blood in the urine, lower back pain, bladder spasm, or fever. And to treat that, they um, increase the fluid intake and give you antibiotics um, for cystitis. The next one is nephritis or um, glomerulonephritis, which is an inflammation of the glomerulus of the kidney. Um, the glomerulus was a part of the nephron. Um, acute glomerulonephritis um, might follow a uh, streptococcal infection like strep throat or scarlet fever or rheumatic fever. Um, and you might have symptoms of chills, fever, fatigue, um, a, a, um, edema, oliguria, which is less than normal urine, hematuria, which is blood in the urine, or albuminuria, which is protein in the urine. Um, to treat it, they're going to um, prescribe rest, restriction of salt, um, maintain your fluid and electrolyte balance, give you something for the fever, antipyretics, um, diuretics for any edema, and sometimes antibiotics. Usually with treatment, they are kidney the kidney function can be restored and the prognosis is good. But repeated attacks can cause a um, chronic condition and chronic nephritis is a progressive disease that causes scarring and sclerosing of the glomeruli. Sclerosing means hardening of. Um, so as the disease progresses and glomeruli are destroyed, then the, the kidney has a hard time filtering out um, the, the toxins and the waste and things. So you're going to see um, more edema and fatigue and anemia and uh, hypertension, weight loss, um, and it'll start affecting the heart, congestive heart failure. Um, you see pus in the urine, and finally, um, the renal failure and death. So treatment is, is directed at treating the symptoms. Um, they might also have to do hemodialysis, which is removal of the waste products from the blood by a hemodialysis machine. Um, and if both kidneys are severely damaged, then they might need to do a kidney transplant to replace it since the, the kidneys can't filter the waste as well. Pyelonephritis is an inflammation of the um, kidney tissue in the renal pelvis, that upper end of the ureter. And it's usually caused by um, pyogenic bacteria, which is pus-forming bacteria. And you'll have sy symptoms of chills, fever, back pain, painful urination, blood in the urine, hematuria, dysuria, or pyuria, plus in the urine. And the treatments are antibiotics and increased fluids, just like with cystitis. Um, the next one is um, renal calculus or urinary calculus, which bottom basically needs a kidney stone. A calculus or a stone is formed when the salts in the urine um, precipitate or settle out of the solution instead of saying dissolved. Um, some small calculi might be eliminated in the urine, you ne never notice it, but larger ones could get lodged or stuck in the renal pelvis or the ureter because they're too big or too rough to go through. Um, so symptoms are going to be sudden intense pain, um, also called renal colic, um, blood in the urine, hematuria, nausea, vomiting, um, a frequent urge to void, and in some cases the urine gets retained or urinary attention. Um, initially, they're going to increase fluids, provide something for the pain, 
um, and they'll suggest that when you urinate that they, you strain it through gauze or filter paper, paper to see if any stones are, are being eliminated or come out. Um, they might try something called lithotripsy, which is um, a procedure where they send um, high energy pressure waves to try to crush the stones so they're smaller and can be eliminated through the urine. Um, and in some cases they need to do surgery because the, the stone or the calculi can't be removed. But um, this is extremely painful. And a lot of times people who might be prone to getting kidney stones or renal calcula. Um, the next one is renal failure. Um, it can be acute or it can be chronic renal failure. Um, and it's when the kidneys stop functioning. The acute renal failure could be caused by hemorrhage, um, a blow to the area, shock, injury, poisoning. Um, it could be from nephritis, inflammation of the kidney, or dehydration. And symptoms would be oliguria or less than normal urine or maybe no urine, anuria. Headache, um, there might be an ammonia smell to the breath, uh, edema, the heart might actually be out of rhythm. Um, and then uremia, or um, you'll notice that the um, blood is collecting um, the waste products and it starts to show up on the skin as well. Um, if you get prompt treatment you know, that we have dialysis and restricting fluid, it might correct itself um, with a good prognosis. However, chronic renal failure results from a progressive loss of kidney function. And it could be from chronic um, kidney infection, glomerulonephritis. Um, it could be hypertension. It could be an endocrine disease like diabetes can affect the kidneys long term. Um, it could be long term substance abuse or alcoholism that can lead to renal, renal failure. And what happens is waste products accumulate in the blood and because they aren't being filtered through the kidneys and they affect the different body systems. Um, so there'll be nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, weight loss, um, change in mental abilities, might be convulsions, muscle irritability, um, ammonia order to the breath, um, uremic frost. I remember earlier I said uremia, uh, the waste to collect in the blood. Um, you get uremic frost where the white crystals um, are deposited on the skin. And then later maybe coma um, prior to death. Um, for chronic renal failure, they're going to need to be on dialysis and diet modifications and, and fluid restrictions. Um, and for that, the only cure is a kidney transplant. Um, uremia, um, I mentioned, was a toxic condition, also called azotemia. Um, the kidneys fail, and then the urinary waste products are start collecting in the bloodstream because they aren't filtered out through the kidneys. Um, so there'll be symptoms, and it can happen from any condition that can um, function um, that affects the kidneys. It can happen from renal failure, um, nephritis, um, anything that affects the kidneys. Um, symptoms are headache, dizziness, nausea, vomiting, and ammonia odor to the breath, oliguria or anuria, that's lower than normal urine or no urine, mental confusion, convulsions, coma, and eventually death. Um, again, treatment is restricting the diet, um, met cardiac medications for the blood pressure and cardiac problems, and then dialysis until you can get a kidney transplant. Um, urethritis is an inflammation itis of the urethra, um, and that's usually caused by bacteria. Um, it could be from viruses or chemicals like bubble bath solutions can cause um, urethritis. Um, urethritis is more common in males than females, um, and symptoms include um, difficult or frequent painful urination, redness and itching at the urinary meatus, which is the external opening, and then pus discharge or purulent discharge, and um, they'll re recommend warm, moist compresses, antibiotics, um, and soaking in a, a sitz bath, um, or increasing the fluid intake. Generally speaking, um, females get the cystitis more frequently and males get urethritis more frequently. 